four things that can cause damage to your solar charge controller i know number three most installers will tell you go ahead with it it will not do anything but i'm telling you from experience it's better you avoid it because there is a reason to why your solar charge controller are rated in current and they are also trying to improve to see as they will bring higher capacity of solar charge controller number four on my list is partial contact yes partial contact can cause damage to your solar charge controller i'm, I'm talking about when you connect your cable to you know this port and you don't tighten them very well that will cause heat in this terminal and that heat will lead to the terminal getting burnt if your solar charge controller is not strong enough that partial contact might reach the mosfet and you lose your uh, solar charge controller number three is overcurrent yes overcurrent can cause damage to your solar charge controller that is why your solar charge controller mostly comes rated in current i know a lot of installers will tell you hey, it's really not necessary uh, that current can burn your charge controller but if you observe most of your solar charge controller come with over current error yes if your solar charge controller is 60 amps and you generate 80 amps from your solar panels your solar charge controller will get damaged so for your solar charge controller to be on a safer side if your charge controller is 60 amps it's best you apply 55 amps at least give a little space for your solar charge controller to work very fine without overstressing it number two is over temperature over temperature mostly happen with MPPT solar charge controller, though not common with PWM solar charge controller. Because PWM solar charge controller are designed to endure harsh weather. PWM solar charge controller doesn't easily have problem when it comes to over temperature. The over temperature mostly is with the MPPT solar charge controller. So if you want to use an MPPT solar charge controller, make sure you install it where there is ventilation so that over temperature will not occur. One, which is the last, is over voltage. Yes over voltage can also cause damage to your solar charge controller like this very charge controller here is rated 60 amp 50 volts so anything you want to apply any voltage you want to apply on this solar charge controller should not be more than 45 volts or 48 volts for your charge controller to work very well because if you apply 50 volts or 50 something volt on this solar charge controller you will get it damaged if your solar charge controller is smart enough it will display the error code telling you that this solar charge controller is receiving over voltage the best thing you should do is to reduce the amount of voltage if you do that your solar charge controller will be on a safer side so so if you want your solar charge controller to work very well to perform very well according to what the manufacturer said make sure you avoid these four things i just listed if you find this video useful don't forget to share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification buttons